I'm the co-founder uh, of String Theory Schools, and welcome uh, to our uh, high school building. This is a new building for us. It's actually one of the newest buildings in Center City. It's an eight-story, 265,000 square foot building. It was formerly GlaxoSmithKline's uh, North American headquarters. Uh, and uh, we bought it last year, the entire thing, and turned it into one of the, uh, the most amazing and exciting new high schools uh, the city has opened up in a generation. Uh, we've actually been around for a little while, since 2000. Our first school opened up then as one of the first elementary age schools in Pennsylvania to link academic performance to the arts. Uh, even though we are, we are arts-based, um, we're unique for a lot of reasons, but um, students in kindergarten through fifth grade actually take seven extra classes, including the arts. They take three performing arts, vocal music, instrumental music, classical ballet, French is a foreign language, creative writing, visual arts, and innovations in science and technology. Students in kindergarten, we like to say, don't know they're not supposed to have 13 classes when they start school. So kindergarten through fifth grade, students rotate through all of those subjects, and then in sixth grade, they choose one of those as a major and spend two periods per day in that major. So you can be a visual arts major, you can be a music major, you can be a dance or STEM major. We're fully arts, we're fully STEM. Uh, been around since 2000, and in 2012, we partnered with the school district. They asked us to open up this building uh, to solve a lot of the needs in the city. Uh, and we've been K-8, but then opened up uh, high school and have a little bit more grown-up program. Students in this school are now fifth grade through high school. Uh, take all those extra classes and, and choose the majors, but they're a little bit more grown-up. So, for instance, our STEM major students can choose between a life sciences biotechnology track, an engineering robotics track, we have 3D character design, animation, digital design, uh, all the performing arts as well, and theater, television, and broadcast. So really, it's about what you are, what type of learner you are, what type of creative you are, figuring that out in kindergarten through fifth grade, and then in middle school and high school, having an opportunity to be able to do that every single day. So this building for us is, is our flagship building that allows us to you know, do that for the, for the kids in the city. Uh, but we also wanted to make this building about uh, reaching out to the city as a whole, engaging with entrepreneurship, engaging with uh, the tech and civic tech scene. Uh, so students here have an opportunity to work with uh, companies. And what we've said is we wanted to make this building open to the city. Uh, we want to partner with the city and organizations here. If we have a really cool space, we have a you know a 300 seat auditorium with a digital backdrop and a full uh, digital backdrop set. Um, if there's an organization or organization you're tied to that one needs a space, we're happy to have you here. If any of the equipment here can serve you, we have computer labs, biotechnology labs, we have a state-of-the-art motion capture studio. Um, all we ask is, hey, come here and work with our kids, and we're happy to give away that space for free. So you guys are welcome back anytime you want it, for sure. Thank you. Uh, lastly, uh, our eighth floor, we just actually opened up as an incubator space. Uh, we had 33,000 square feet. We have 51 individual offices. And we've said that uh, we're giving that space away to companies. If you need a small space, an office or two, um, you can have it for free. Uh, there's no rent. There's no utilities. The only thing that we ask is that you're an innovative company and you're willing to work with kids a little bit. We're happy to do that. So um, if there's any other questions, I'll, I'll kind of leave you guys uh, with that. Well, super. We've got about a minute and a half left for questions because sure. I'm guessing because I didn't start the Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's amazing what you're doing and how you got this building. I'll never know. <laughs> bond offering, $55 million bond offering. Okay. Yeah, there are ways to do things. I, I was astounded to learn that they have a waiting list of 5,000. Really? And the only, only openings we have are in kindergarten. Yeah. Wow. So it's like awesome, awesome school, no, no chances. Yeah, about 25 uh, kids in a class. Not a lot, not a little. Where do I sign up? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody wants to know, can I come back? You mentioned the 300 seat auditorium. Are there other sizes of meeting spaces? Uh, this one, we have three cafeterias. Uh, there are different sizes. Um, this is one of our smaller cafeterias, but uh, most of them can fit about 300 kids in. Um, the auditorium is 200 seats uh, in rake stadium seating, and then about another 100 seats on the floor. Um, so we have the ability for about uh, 300 lecture style with a digital back, 21 foot screen in the backdrop. And it's, it's worth noting the top floor though, with the 50 some odd offices that we've got ringing that, is an open space right now. Yeah. So if you're thinking about creative spaces to meet to do stuff, it's still wide open <coughs> over there. So I'm just throwing that into the mix because uh, we were given a wonderful tour of the building and all the facilities here. 
we try to figure out how, what, when, where we're we going to do with open access filling. And we actually switched rooms like in the past couple yeah. of whatever, only because we realized the weather's going to impact uh, how many people are going to be here and the fact that, well, it did. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm happy if anybody wants to take a quick tour afterwards, I'm happy to show people around. What about weekends? Are spaces available on weekends? We, we do. Uh, you know, our, our uh, kids are here during the day, but certainly after hours uh, during the week and weekends, uh, that's actually a more appropriate time for events and public space because kids aren't here. So that's a potentially better time room. 